Hi, I'm Sabrina Kemper, your Divisional Creative Arts Director with some matters to mind. I'd like to encourage us to take the time to take care of our minds and mental health as much as we take care of our physical bodies. Daily mindfulness is like going to the gym for our brains and can teach us so many things. One, being a realization of what mindset we are leaning towards in our everyday interactions and how that is serving us and others around us. Our mindsets consist of our beliefs and how they influence the way we handle life's issues. Life presents us with a variety of challenges from pursuing artistic endeavors, to working with others or dealing with COVID-19. While a growth mindset says, I can learn from anything presented to me. Failure is a learning opportunity. Trying something new can be fun and interesting. Everything can change with enough effort and patience. It embraces change and resiliency. The growth mindset leans into hope, not fear. And then there's the fixed mindset, which sees challenges through the lens of being a winner or a loser. Doubts itself when it fails and it either says we're rolling in the good times or all is lost and it stays stuck in a negative pattern with itself and with other people. This fixed mindset is not consistent with scripture and it stands in direct contrast to the power of the gospel to transform our lives. It also fails to acknowledge that even in the valley, there are blessings of growth and insight that help us to further appreciate the joy that comes in the morning. This all starts with our thoughts. Philippians 4.8 tells us, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Our God is excellent and praiseworthy. His truths, his promises, his faithfulness, those are things we should train our minds to hone in on in the good times and especially the hard times. The spiritually fixed mindset says, I can't because God can't or won't. So we as believers ascribe to a growth mindset that says I can because God can. We can endure this time of uncertainty because we are certain of who our God is. So I'm gonna invite you to come with me to the mental gym this week and try on this exercise. Every day, find at least one situation that might normally make you feel frustrated, anxious, or upset. Think traffic, for instance, or a recent big change you may not have agreed with or liked. Take a few minutes to breathe deeply and calm your body and mind. Ask these two questions. What can I learn from this? And how can I help? Sit for a few more minutes quietly and reflect. Notice how your body and mind respond. Even if you don't immediately come up with any answers, you are training your mind and making space for the Holy Spirit to give you a growth mindset way of thinking. Because God is eternal and the giver of life, for believers, nothing is fatal, nothing is final. We are never stuck without hope or without a prayer. We can change, we can heal and grow. The lame leap, the dumb speak, and the dead live again. A change mental focus leads to a change heart, which leads to a change life. Remember, bringing these matters to mind as a daily practice in our livelihood helps us to do the most good 